Hi guys, it's Sinead. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a review, first impression, demo and wear test on the Essence Camouflage 2-in-1 Makeup and Concealer. It says it's high coverage, no mask effect and it's long lasting. I've had this sitting in my drawer for quite a while and I just haven't got around to using it and I thought I may as well just like film a whole first impression video on it. It does say it's got 30ml in here which is a standard amount of foundation. I'm not sure how much the foundation costs but I will leave that on the screen and down below. A little bit of information about my skin I've got oily combo skin so kind of like around here is pretty normal and then my t-zone so forehead nose and chin is the oiliest so we can see if the foundation will last pretty well because my nose is like the first place foundation typically comes off so it will be really good to test this out throughout the day. So as you can see my face is looking a bit blotchy. I do have like redness all around here. I've got little dots all the way up onto the side of my face. I actually filmed a makeup video yesterday for Instagram and I don't know what I used but after I took my makeup off from filming like I started filming and my face was clear, did my makeup and then when I took my makeup off a few hours later Later, um, my face was like this so I don't know if I've had a reaction to makeup they're not actually pimples they're just heaps of little red dots on my face so I'm not sure what's going on they don't really itch or anything I'm just not sure if it has anything to do with my eczema or anything like that probably shouldn't be putting makeup on but I still really needed to film um, this video and I guess we can test out if it will cover the redness on my face it's currently just before 12 p.m. at the moment and I'm going to start putting this on I'm going to use two primers today on one side of my face just to see if that side holds the foundation better and makes it look nicer. I'm actually going to do it on this side of my face. I'm going to take my NYX Photo Loving Primer and this one is the purple one. It's the anti-dull skin primer. I'm just going to rub this in around the side of my face. I have already done my brows off camera um, because I'm planning to film like a makeup video after this as well. And I'm going to use my Benefit Professional as well. I'm going to focus this around the nose and just this area here. I've got really quite large pores so I want to fill those in. And the colour of the foundation I've got is in 30 Honey Beige. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to go matching me. I only have actually a little bit of gradual tan on. Like I don't actually have like full fake tan on for once. I put a bit of the Saint Tropez gradual tan and it actually went like fairly dark. Okay so to apply the foundation I'm going to switch in between a brush and a sponge just to see which one I like better. I've got the Morphe E7 brush. It is quite small but I really do enjoy this one and then I've just got a Kmart kind of like fake beauty blender. I'm going to start off with the brush. I'm just going to put this right on my face. I know it's going to look a little bit light but it does oxidize so it will get a little bit darker. I don't really know how much I need. I'm just going to start out with that amount. It definitely is getting darker as it's drying down so I feel like it will definitely match my neck. Okay, so, so far I'm really enjoying it with the brush. It's going on really nicely. The coverage is probably a good medium coverage. I wouldn't say it is a full and it is um, drying down quite nicely as well. It's not like sticky or anything. I don't think it really has much of a scent. Like it's nothing overbearing. There is maybe like a slight scent, which is good because some people are quite um, sensitive to fragrance in foundations. Okay, so that's already completely dried down on my skin. You can see there is, there's quite a difference there. It's done a really good job. I am going to try and just layer up a little bit here where I do have those little red dots. We'll just see if it like lays okay. You can see how light it is compared to what it is now. It has um, definitely gotten darker. It's starting to feel like a little bit thick now that I'm doing this. So if you don't like things feeling like a little bit heavy, you might not like that. I'm so happy with how this is looking. It looks really good. That's definitely covered it up now that I've gone back over and it's already drying down again. Not patchy at all. Really, really smooth on the skin. I really hope this lasts a good amount of time because at the moment it's looking so flawless. I'm really impressed. I'm going to put some on this side of the face and use the sponge. Okay, so coverage is a lot less with the sponge. Um, it's quite light on the skin, but if you are looking for a light coverage, probably use a sponge with it. 
it still blended out really nicely. I didn't have any issues blending it out with the sponge. But just for personal preference, I think I'm going to go back to the brush just because I am enjoying um, having a little bit more coverage today. I'm loving how this foundation is looking so much that I'm actually a little bit angry at myself for not like using it earlier. It's literally been sitting in my drawer for months and I'm just like, I'll oh, do a review, I'll film it, I'll film it. Just never filmed it and I'm angry that, you know, it took me this long to use it because it's looking so nice. Okay, so it's really windy, so just ignore that. But I am loving this foundation. It looks so nice on the skin. I hope it wears really well because this is something I definitely will be picking up more. Like it does state on the bottle, it doesn't look like a mask. Like it's still got really nice coverage, but it's it doesn't look like heavy. It just looks beautiful. Good job, Essence. So I'm really loving how this is looking. I can see it is creasing in my smile lines, but typically I just kind of set my face straight away so that doesn't happen. Yeah, I can see the creases happening already. But anyway, I'm going to probably do the rest of my makeup now. Probably going to film a makeup tutorial because I want to test out some new products. And then I'll probably just come back tonight and give you guys a check-in. I'll also do like a flash test and all that kind of stuff. I'm also going to try and come back around 9 10 p.m. so we get like a really good wear time so like 9 10 hours um, and I will update the description box with any extra thoughts on the foundation because I might try to wear it like a few more times before I put this video up and then I'll give you like my updated thoughts if you want to know any more it will probably be down there okay guys so I'm back it's currently 9 p.m. now and I really want to take this makeup off just because I've had such bad hay fever today and my eyes are like weeping and my nose is running and I just kind of want to take all of this off. Okay, so looking at the foundation, I think it actually still looks quite nice. My nose is very shiny though. I did have a bit of highlighter like on the dead center of it, but it still has definitely gotten like um, tacky around my nose. It's gotten tacky around here as well and my chin area. So it didn't stay completely matte and I did powder my whole face as well. So it still did get shiny. Nothing horrible though. I think it's still looking pretty nice on the face. Um, I did have a little bit of transfer around here because I did go out to dinner and I was eating soup and it just kind of like kept getting on my face every time I was like eating noodles. So it did come off like a little bit around here but it honestly still looks pretty good. I did do a flash test with my iPhone and I'll put that on the screen now. You can definitely see that the foundation has flashback. You can see that my face looks much lighter in the photo compared to my body. And I just have like a little bit of gradual tan on. It's not like extremely dark and in person like this completely matches. It always looks darker on my neck because it's like shadowy. I need to get like a reflector for my table. That way it looks like the same. But yeah, the face definitely had a white cast on it in the photo. And between the prime side and non-prime side, I honestly cannot see a difference at all. My pores do look a little bit accentuated, but I did put a lot of highlighter on and I also did have that kind of rash that I had um, from earlier on. I can still see it is quite textured around here, but wherever I don't have texture on my face, it looks really, really nice. I really love this foundation. I think it's actually a really good, cheap, affordable foundation that is worth picking up. I, yeah, I'm definitely going to use this one again. A really big surprise from Essence. I don't think I've ever had like any trouble with Essence foundations. The coloring has always been a little bit off, but um, yeah, I really loved this one. Okay, so I better go because the storage is running out on my camera. I hope this video was helpful. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what other foundations you would like to see in more review and testing videos. And I'll see you guys really soon in my next video. Bye.